Hello everyone. Well, as all of you are aware of the e-learning process which was introduced by ADEC. Now at EPS we are using our own digital learning platform what we called as digital resources. But let me tell you before you access the digital resources what you need to have is the user ID and password where you will be logging to the portal accessing the digital resources now in case if you don't have the username and a password what you can do is you can send me a message on whatsapp my number is 0561219547 simultaneously you can contact miss azza miss maimuna or miss nagla for the same so let's start with the process what you need to access the website is a browser now it doesn't matter which browser do you use it can be Internet Explorer it can be Microsoft Edge Firefox Opera Safari Google Chrome whatever you are comfortable with I'll be starting with Google Chrome so let's open Google Chrome the first and foremost thing what we need is to go to the website so for that the website address will be www.e P S C H A D dot com. Press the enter key and you will be coming to this website. Now, first you come to this website, after this, you need to log in. So, move your cursor to the top right hand side corner where you can see the login, and I'll be going and selecting the student login. Once you click on the student login, you will be redirected to a page where it will ask you for the username and for the password. Now, I'll use a temporary username and a password to take you through the rest of the process. So let me open the username and password. This is the username and password I'll be using. And in case if anybody wants to have the whole thing in Arabic, so you can go and change the language from here as Arabic. I'll continue with the English one and you click on the login button once you log in you come to this particular page now if you see in this login there are many messages which has not been read I'm sure most of you will be having this situation because if you have not used the portal before then you must be having a lot of unread mails so now apart from that you get a notifications also over here this is a notification button and these notifications comes over here as well now if you see there is something called as a notice board communicate weekly plan and digital resources so it is a very simple process what I'll be doing is clicking on the digital resources as simple as that once you click on the digital resources you will come to a place of a digital resources and whoever the teacher has uploaded any data for the digital learning or e-learning process you'll be accessing it over here as a sample if you see this is for grade 9 British for maths so once you click on this particular thing you get to see over here what is this and the volume of cylinder chapter 3 so I click on this particular one and it opens a digital learning part here if you see there is a video which has been put by our teacher apart from that if you scroll down you see that message has been given by a teacher which says dear student hope you are doing well I have updated uploaded a video to explain volume of cylinder watch the video and try to solve the worksheet given below so you have a worksheet attached to it where these are the things which is there with you one file gives formula to find height and radius now I'm not a maths person so I don't know what exactly that means but now let's say you need to download this file so just simply click on the download button your file is downloaded here go and open the file now this is the work what you have to do now as I said I'm not a maths person so I won't be able to solve this but just to make sure that this particular thing is gone I'll do one thing I'll just select all of them change the color of it so that I know after you solve this you have to send it back to the teacher so I save this file and let me save this file in a location where I can take it easily desktop and I'm saving it here 
I'll close it. Now you can go ahead and download the rest of the files and finish all these things. Now you need to send this message back to your teacher. So now how do you send the file which you have worked on to your teacher? Let's go back and click on the dashboard on the left panel. Once you click on the dashboard, you come to a place back here. Click on communicate. Once you click on communicate, you have compose, you have inbox and you have send item. So in inbox, you will be having all the things what you receive. In send item, you will be having all the things which you send. So let's go and click on compose. First and foremost thing, in the group name, click on the group name whom you need to send this message to. Now, but obvious, this data has been uploaded by a teacher. So let's go and select teacher. Once you select the teacher over here, in the two, click over here, you will get to see all the teachers who teach for this particular class, which is grade nine. Now, if you see over here, the name of the teacher is there and the subject the teacher teach. I can see here, Abdul Majid, Abdul Rauf, and the person teach mathematics and this worksheet is regarding mathematics. So go ahead and select the worksheet as mathematics. Type your content over here. I'm just putting some thing as logical. And then if you want to write something, go ahead and write it. And you have to attach the file which you have solved. So click on attach. Click on the file. This is the file which I need to send. I'm selecting the file and I said open this file. Now this file is an attachment and then you just have to click the send button. Once you click the send button, you will be receiving this message over here. It says message is sent. Now whatever you have done and sent, you can go and click on the send item if you want to reconfirm and you see this message has been sent to Mr. Abdul Majid on so and so date, so and so time. This is the process you will be going through. So every time you need to find out which content you have for study, just simply log in. On the dashboard, you will find digital resources as a last icon over here. Click on the digital resources and your content will be shown over here. I hope this video was informative for you. Apart from that, if you have any questions regarding the username, regarding accessing the website, whatsoever, please revert back to me. As I told you my number, I repeat it again. My number is 0561219547. You can send me a message on WhatsApp and I should get back to you. Thank you very much.